Hey guys, Alex from 7th Hour Films, back again with Kaguya-sama Love is War! Uh, last time around, Kaguya wants to undress him. Uh, because, uh, they found out that Ishigami wears briefs, and he was like, anyone who wears boxers is a dirty man whore! And so Kaguya wanted to see if Shirogane wore, uh, boxers. It was a whole ordeal. Uh, Kaguya wants to make him let go, uh... She tried to make up for trying to see his underwear with a hand massage, but it was awful. Um, Miyuki Shirogane wants to make her read. Uh, this is when they got into shoujo manga, and uh, it was terrible. Well, I mean, it wasn't terrible, but they were just getting way into shoujo manga. And then Kaguya Heart Aquarium. Uh, this is when the show became a, a shoujo manga. And it was terrible. I mean, it was it was great. It was fun, but it was also terrifying. And let's never do that again. So, yeah. Like always, the reaction is down in the description and in the pinned comment for your viewing pleasure. So let's go ahead and jump right into this episode of Kaguya-sama: Love Is War. Let's go. Man, I got a lot of deep character out of that doctor that I was not expecting. Uh, poor Hayasaka. Embarrassed. Embarrassed by what has happened. Uh, I, that's, that's so funny. That is like, it seemed like it was serious. Like, oh, her mother died of heart disease. It could be. It could be that she's getting that too, and it's like, oh no, Trunks is gonna have to come back in time and give her medicine or something. <laughs> and then just, I think you're in love. Ugh, she's lovesick. She fainted because of Shirogane. Poor Hayasaka. Poor Hayasaka. It's like, she's been trying, trying to make this work, but now it's resulted in this going before an entire, you know, medical board basically i mean i feel like because see they i feel like they were cool enough like they they wouldn't really hold that against her but oh she's so embarrassed it's interesting she says like she specifically says like this was my hospital too like did she work there like i, I don't know like okay i'm gonna be honest i don't know if i fully understand that like i'm assuming she's embarrassed because you know, because it's gotten to this point. Because she hasn't been taking care of this, you know? But I don't know. I mean, I understand she's embarrassed, but... Ugh. Good grief, man. Good grief. Ugh. And now Kaguya just has to accept it. She has to come to terms with her feelings. That she is in love with Shirogane. I just... Ugh. <laughs> just something about that that is so funny it's like all this it's like so dramatic and then it's just you're lovesick I don't know it's just funny for the other stuff uh Miko that was nice having a moment actually having a moment of Miko in the student council she's too strict she's too strict she needs to loosen up a bit loosen up uh but but she is not going to listen to Ishigami. Even though he was saying all the right things, she did not listen to Ishigami. But but she will listen to the exact same things being said by Fujiwara, so I guess there's that at least. Um, but I love just immediately when, <laughs> when it's like, all right, Miko's not going to be mad at anything for one hour. He just immediately puts his leg up on the table, you know, pop, gets out some chips and a soda, and is playing video games like, ah, oh, you can't get mad. Let's put that, put that to the test, shall we? Ugh. All right. So I like that. That was fun. And then, you know, not only is he playing Mario Kart or Marine Kart, and then he immediately goes and... <laughs> Pops that into the Switch. I didn't even notice they ever had a television, but... 
I love it's like not only does he pop the switch in so that he can play Marine Kart on or I'm sorry. The fact that he pops the swatch in and plays Marine Kart <laughs> um and then immediately Shirogane just casually walks over and just plays the game with him. I liked it. That was fun. Uh I love every time an anime and it's always it's always an anime where they'll have a character that has a switch. Like I've noticed this a couple times now. Uh or there was another show where like one of the characters had a DS, but they can never say they can never actually have those consoles. Like it can never be. Like and some of these shows they will reference so many other things, but they cannot have an actual Nintendo Switch. And actually be playing Mario Kart. It has to be a Swatch. And it has to be playing Marine Kart. Because. Ugh. Nintendo will have a fucking aneurysm. You know. Even two Japanese companies. Even just two anime. Nintendo. Ugh. Nintendo is just going to come over here and have a conniption. If you're playing Mario Kart in an anime. Ugh. But that was fun, and then Miko started to relax a bit, made the funny faces, and she wanted to keep those pictures, even if it's against school rules, so. So that's good. I like Miko loosening up a bit. Um, I also like that Miko was the one that found them. Like, that was funny. Uh, found them in the thing. Like, she just comes in and is like, why is it taking so long for you to check this stuff, you know? And then, of course... At the worst possible time. Because these two... These two are stupid, you know? These two can be so stupid where they're both like, Ah, this is the other one's plan. Well, we'll play along. And so they stay there for three hours. Three hours until Miko finally saves them. They were so close, though. They were so close. Who knows? Maybe they would have kissed. A little kiss. Uh, maybe they would have kissed if... Uh, if Miko hadn't found them. A little spider kiss. Anyway. So that was interesting. And I mean, it's just the thing of just watching these two. Like, they literally share the same brain cell about love, you know? Like, they're literally thinking the exact same thing about each other, you know? And it's just, oh, it's ridiculous. Just... Why you gotta be so complicated, man? And I know that's the plot of the show, but why are you so complicated, man? And then... And, I mean, you know, just the fact that it's like, oh, they're so complicated. And, yeah, <laughs> they just go... Like, Kaguya literally passes out with heart palpitations and is taken to a hospital and they're all scared because, oh my god, you know, her mother had heart disease. That's what she died of. What if she has it too? And they go through all of this, and it's like, no, you're just lovesick. <laughs> you just get so flustered seeing, you know, the boy you're in love with, that it seems like a heart disease. That's it, you know? Like, they even scan her heart, and she's completely healthy. There's nothing wrong with her. And, it's, uh... and because of this... They ha she has embarrassed Hayasaka to no end. Uh, Hayasaka can't. Hayasaka can't. Haya she Hayasaka can't deal with it. <sighs> it's okay. The video will end soon, so we'll stop the puns. Um, but I like that. I like the implication, too, that the doctor was in love with uh, Kaguya's mother. Who knows, he may have been a better father than Kaguya's actual father. So, I'm assuming it's something. it was something of an arranged marriage between uh, Kaguya's parents. I don't know. But, uh, but I like that little moment at the end. It's like, hey, your daughter's doing just fine. So, I like to even look at pictures of Shirogane. And it's just like, and of course, she doesn't have a normal picture of him. But, she's, he's just like, well, he seems like a, you know, handsome, interesting enough fellow. I can see why you're in love with him. And she's just uh, having to come to terms with her feelings. Like, it's literally just, you know, 
it's it's Hi- it's what Hayasuka says. Like she literally has to confront her feelings right here and now. You know, right here and now in front of other people. Like Hayasuka, Hayasuka is trying to nudge her. You know, slowly get her to gradually accept her feelings. Doctor comes in with blunt force trauma, and it's just like you're in love. I can see it. You know. And at the end of the day, she did have to accept it. Because she said, you know, it's your fault that it happened to me. <sighs> that was that was something. That was an interesting episode. Poor Hayasuka. I love that it's like, at the end of that, it's like, results for today's battle. Hayasuka loses. Like, aw. My poor girl. <laughs> oh, well. But yeah, very, very interesting stuff, and I'm excited to see where we're going. We've got four more episodes this season, so let's see where we're going. With all of that being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Oh my god, thank you for watching. There's links on screen, as well as other things. Deck snuck up on me. See you guys later.